Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is Kyle George here. Troy Athletics here to talk about Trojan Arena and COVID protocols this season. Uh, Kyle, thanks for joining us here today. Thanks for having me today. And as we had here last semester to talk about football and COVID protocols, because obviously that's still overshadowing all of our daily lives. Uh, but obviously, now we've transitioned into spring, uh, we've got an indoor sports and Trojan Arena, basketball. So things are a little bit different, but a little bit of the same, right? So tell us a little bit kind of the differences of what folks can expect if they plan on coming out to games this year in Trojan Arena. Absolutely. Like you said, there's going to be some things that remain a little bit the same from what you saw at Veterans Memorial Stadium once you move inside of Trojan Arena. Uh, we are asking fans to wear a mask at all times when you're inside the facility, whether that's at your seats or if you're moving around the concourse there as well, too. Similar to Veterans Memorial Stadium as well, we've really spread things out to make sure it's very open concourses there. One thing that's different is that we have a lower capacity inside due to NCAA mandates for NCAA basketball this season. So we're at 25% capacity inside Trojan Arena compared to what we had over at Veterans Memorial Stadium, which is a little bit higher than that as well too there. So we do have a limited capacity. Things are spread out. Every other row is taken offline for our seated uh, patrons when it comes to our season ticket holders and our single game purchasers there as well too. You'll see seats that have been taken off as well too in terms of in between where you might be seated there. So if you're sitting down, you're gonna have at least two or three seats in between your account there before the pa patron sitting next to you as well too. And of course, uh, this year, uh, the crowd also starts a little bit farther back, which is going to be something a little bit different for, for some fans. Right. And they won't be as, as close to the action as they have been in the past. Yeah, like so how you saw at Veterans Memorial Stadium for football, we have a bubble around the field there, essentially there, to where it's just the participants in terms of the student athletes, the coaches, the athletic trainers. They're the only ones permitted inside that bubble to really make sure that we are protecting our student athletes at all times there for it. You'll see that in Trojan Arena. Those first two, three, four rows are taken offline there, depending on the spot in the actual facility there. We're having a little bit of fun with that though still too. You can purchase fan cutouts that are going to be behind our team bench area there. That's actually being signed by Coach Cross and by Coach Rigby. You can pick those up at the end of the season there. So you can go online to troytrojans.com backslash fan cutouts to get a chance to purchase those and actually kind of help decorate a little bit if you will around there in those seats that are empty there. And of course, and that's a, just a fun experience. You're seeing that in a lot of places. A baseball season last year, that was a popular thing to have right. those cutouts behind uh, home plate, but they didn't have anyone in their stands. This is just taking up those first few rows, but uh, I was unaware of this uh, getting at the end of the season with an autograph. That's a, that's a, that's a piece of paraphernalia yeah. there. So It's a way to, you know, we got to block off the area anyways. Why not make it something that's fun, engaging for our fan base there as well, too? And if you purchase that now, uh, Coach Cross and Coach Rigby will sign that for you at the end of the season. You can pick it up through our ticket office and get a chance to have a little bit of a you know piece of Trojan Arena in your family living room, wherever else it might be there for you. And, of course, uh, you get to be a part of – Troy Athletics and Troy Basketball all season. Absolutely. And, and, and the TV games, maybe you'll pop up. You got one of those lucky spots. You can see your picture back there behind the team there. That's pretty cool. But one of the main things I know that a lot of fans that are going into the arena are going to be concerned about, you talked about, you know, seating. You talked about the, the season ticket holders, and they're prepared for it, but students. And now the students are back for the spring semester. How are you handling students in the student section? Because in the fall for football, they had to have tickets, but that's not Correct. the case uh, this season for basketball, right? Right. Right now we had students come in through the student entrance. It's a different student entrance than we've had in years past there, simply because we want to have one location devoted to students instead of coming into the main entrance point where the rest of the, the uh, fan base comes in through. So on the side closest to the track and field complex, that's on the west side of Trojan Arena, directly behind the student section, right there behind the suite entrance access point as well too there you'll see signs of point for student entrance all members of the pep band the cheerleaders as well as our student body all come in through that area show your student id card you'll be clicked into the facility there we have a limit of 500 students that are allowed in for each game there so right now we're not giving out tickets for that it's a first come first serve ability for that gates open one hour prior to each scheduled tip off there as well too if we see we need to address having actual tickets in the future that might be something we do for south alabama when we have those games here in the future as well too but right now we're doing it as show your student ID, come in through the student entrance point there, and we have five sections devoted to the student section there. As soon as you walk in, you can go straight to your seats there. You have a concession stand right there next to you as well too. So we're really trying to limit how much you're having to walk through the facility, keeping things almost in the quadrants, if you will, throughout the facility. And of course, uh, I'll, the season tickets have been cut off for the season, obviously now the season started, but single season tickets are still available, right? That anybody who wants to hit the games, 
tell about that because it's going to be on a, a semi-limited basis as well sure. for the single tickets, right? So each Monday going into conference games there for us, conference games will be played on Friday and Saturday, typically outside of South Alabama games there. But every Friday and Saturday we'll have games at 6 o'clock on Friday, 4 o'clock on Saturday. The Monday of each game week we'll have single game tickets available in limited quantity. Uh, we have just about 100 tickets available each single game in order to purchase. You can go online to TroyTrojans.com slash tickets. Those are $15 each. You can also give us a call at 334-670-3681 or you can visit us at the uh, Trojanian box office on game day as well too. Okay, and then just overall, uh, any kind of changes that folks can expect from last basketball season, this basketball season, uh, in just the, the game day experience, how they're going to be interacting with people. Obviously, there's got to be a few changes there due to COVID. So. Sure, we're, we're all about fan engagement. We want to be fun and exciting. It still is that way. We're not able to bring people onto the court for on court promotions. Things are being done higher up. You're going to see the band and cheerleaders are pushed back a little bit further than normal. That's due to NCAA protocols this season as well, too. So everything is still following the protocols given to us by the NCAA. However, we're still doing a lot of fun events on the video board. You'll see some new promotions being uh, engaging throughout these next couple weeks here as well, too, there. Uh, so come out and join us at Trojan Arena. You can find the schedule online at TroyTrojans.com for any kind of updates that might take place throughout the season. You can find anything there, whether it's game updates, uh, cutout purchases, all that kind of stuff, TroyTrojans.com. Kyle, I want to thank you for joining me today and giving us this update on what's going on at Trojan Arena this season. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.